Alright, so I've noticed a few details that could drastically change what we understand about even the fundamentals of Pikmin and its lore, along with several other ripple effects this could have. Stick with me through this one as I expose some secrets hidden within the dialogue and Piklopedia entries of Pikmin 4. Hello everyone, you're watching Variety Television and welcome back to another Pikmin 4 Theory. Before we get started, don't forget that the live Pikmin Theory discussion is set for September 2nd, but there's no solid time frame just yet, so keep an eye out for updates on that. Also, make sure you're subscribed because many people who watch my videos still aren't subscribed. Now, I think we've covered everything, so let's get on with the video. If any of you have watched my previous theories, especially those that came out before Pikmin 4 was released, you'll know that the very existence of the Sage Leaf was something that I somewhat predicted based on the fact that Moss was in the demo. This realization and theory alone were enough to change what we thought about Pikmin. If you're like me and believe Pikmin 4 is a retelling of the original story or even a reboot of the franchise, this detail means simply that Olimar wasn't the first person to crash on PNF 404, and honestly, that fact alone doesn't change much of anything. Rather, it's when we start to investigate the smaller and more hidden details about Olimar and the Sage Leaf that we start getting presented with more interesting and lore-changing questions. For starters, the Sage Leaf appears to be rather elderly based on his name and appearance. We've seen before that most of the leaflings' leaf color is based purely on their hair color, implying that the sage leaf has white hair, a common sign among elder folks. He is also buried in a cave that is almost completely hidden to the outside world, and the only reason the Rescue Corps is able to find the cave in the first place is because Olimar has a memory of seeing the cave while he was a leafling, which would make sense considering that his ship crashed very close to where we see the cave. Here is where things start to get really interesting, though. As we know, the general story of Olimar's shipwreck in Pikmin 4 is as follows. Olimar crashes initially, discovers the Pikmin, and then Moss. He uses them in tandem to rebuild his ship. We know that traditionally, life support lasts 30 days, and Olimar only uses the final 15 to rebuild his ship. I assume the first 15 days were spent trying to find ship parts or complete repairs himself until he finds the Pikmin, which drastically speed up his progress. On the final day, Olimar takes off after successfully repairing his ship, and it turns out Moss snuck into the ship's cargo hatch. Olimar has to turn around because Moss becomes ill after leaving the planet, and upon re-entry his life support runs out. His ship crashes once more, right beside the Rescue Corps outpost, and he becomes a leafling due to the Pikmin and Moss carrying him into the Onion. Alright, the backstory is settled, so let's take a look at some of these details I was referring to. Keep in mind everything I just told you about the Sage Leaf being old and being there for a long time, as well as Olimar's story and the potential that this is a retelling of the original story. Okay? Okay. First, we know Olimar is totally unaware of the contents of the cave, only remarking that he had seen it while he was a leafling, but he also admits that his memory is fuzzy of that whole time period. On the other hand, when we first meet the Sage Leaf, he literally says, It's been quite a while since I trained a newcomer. This obviously implies that the Sage has not only met another castaway, but that castaway has also been trained through the Sage's trials. Immediately, my mind goes to Olimar, but as far as we know, he never went into that cave, he only saw it. We also know from the Piclopedia entries on white and purple Pikmin, Olimar does not know that purple and white onions exist, he only suspects that they may exist in an ancient and forgotten location. This is oddly specific, but we do know enough information to assume that the Sage Leaf was not referring to Olimar. For one, the fact that Olimar doesn't know about the Onions despite them being part of the Sage's Trials. Second, despite Olimar not having a good memory of the time, it seems that Leaflings have a decent memory of their time as a Leafling as long as they remain uncured. Leafling Olimar, despite having changes to his motivations, does indeed remember us through the story. This means that the Sage Leaf's memory should be unaffected as well. Clearly, Olimar and the others lose memory of their previous lives once they become a leafling, but they remember everything as a leafling. Once cured, their memory comes back, but the memory of their time as a leafling fades instead. 
and it's like their minds cannot exist as both. A leafling won't remember being a person, and people struggle to remember being a leafling. The only reason Olimar does is because we do a type of regression therapy with him as he tells us his story. All of that to say, the Sage Leaf would definitely know that it had indeed been a while, and Olimar was crashed there extremely recently. It just can't be Olimar. This means between the time that the Sage Leaf crashed and the time that Olimar crashed, another crash happened. That person is trained in the art of Dandori, and we have no idea who it is. But this tells us something even crazier, honestly, and I'm not even really sure what to think about it. As long as any of us have played Pikmin, we have accepted that, from the very beginning, Olimar discovered and named the Pikmin and Onions. But I think we were wrong. In Olimar's original log in Pikmin 1, he says that the Onion looks like a thing from his planet called an Onion, hence why he names them this. Also, the Pikmin look like Pik Pik Carrots, and that's why he names them as such. The same explanations are given in Pikmin 4 in his voyage log, again confirming to me that this is the first story being retold, but unlike Pikmin 1, in Pikmin 4, everything discussed about the Pikmin and Onion is extremely scientific in nature. Olimar describes the muscle fibers of all the plant-animal hybrids, he talks about, quote, how it has been theorized they evolved from roots. I'm just wondering, where did all this new scientific information come from? How is he performing these experiments with a broken shit? And who theorized that they evolved from roots? And most importantly, if the Sage Leaf has been trapped in this cave and has never met Olimar, then why does he know the names of the things that Olimar came up with? If Olimar named the Onions and Pikmin but never met the Sage Leaf, how would the Sage know to call them Onions and Pikmin? More so, if he had been there longer than Olimar or anybody else, wouldn't he have come up with his own names for them? We see that the purple and white onions are referred to as jewels in the Sage Trials, but he also just calls them onions, and he always refers to the Pikmin as Pikmin. Well, I think some of the rewriting of Pikmin 4 is at play here, and there may be a new explanation for the names of these things. My theory is that the onions themselves have named the members of their family. The Onions, Pikmin, Candy Pop Buds, Flarlick, and everything within that family was named by the Onions. So hear me out. Here's the explanation for this one. We know from Olimar's own entries in the Piclopedia that the Onions have muscle fiber consistent with that of the Pikmin, a mixture of plant and animal cells that also allows them to move around. We know that when it comes to the three Pikmin limit and the amount of Pikmin allowed on the field, that is in total control of the Onion. Since Pikmin are inspired by ants in a garden, maybe the onion is meant to represent the queen, and everything is on a sort of hive mind. I'm pretty sure the hive mind bit is accepted, as it very easily explains how all the Pikmin act in unison, are so coordinated, and why they always know where the onion is at all times. And I think the explanation for how all of this happened has to do with Ochi's transformation into a leafling pup. We see Ochi start as a normal space dog, but get turned into a leafling pup despite never being put through an onion like the other leaflings. Characters in the game theorize that the transformation happened purely based on exposure to Pikmin and the onion. If things can be affected purely by exposure to the Pikmin and onion, and again, the Sage Leaf never met Olimar, then maybe, just maybe, the Onions already had a name for themselves and the Pikmin, and simply put the idea into Olimar's head when he was first exposed to the Red Onion. To Olimar, he has indeed come up with these names because the names popped into his mind and he was able to relate that to something he was familiar with, like the Onions of his home planet or the Pik Pik Carrots of his home planet. He's fully unaware that the original seed of that idea was planted in his head as soon as he found the first Red Onion. This explanation is the only one I can think of to explain why the Sage Leaf would also call them Onions and Pikmin, despite having never met Olimar, nor having memory of his previous life. The characters we meet in this game are made aware of Pikmin through Olimar's logs that he sends out, but the Sage Leaf is a leafling stuck in a cave with no way at all to receive these logs, nor does he mention them. And even though he's stuck in a cave, when we first meet him he says, I've been awaiting your arrival. Even though he has no access to the outside world, he somehow knows that we were here. I think the Onion's influence must have informed him of their names, just as they did with Olimar, and presumably the missing mystery captain that the Sage Leaf references as well. 
Of course, this is all just a theory, and like I said before, I'm really not sure what to think of this myself. My only guess is that the Pikmin developers want this rewrite to show the Onions as being smarter and more mysterious than we initially thought. Tell me what you all think down below. Do you have another explanation for why the Sage Leaf might call them Pikmin and Onions? Do you have proof that Olimar did in fact go into the Sage's den and that the Sage Leaf is lying about how long it's been since he's trained somebody? Let me know all of this down below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. That's all I've got for this one, but stay tuned, Variety Television, we'll be right back.